So a single best answer question is a form of multiple choice question where you are presented with a scenario followed by a question and then several options to choose from. However, unlike traditional MCQs, in a single best answer question, some of the incorrect answers, which we call distractors, may be plausible or partially correct. The correct answer to an SBA is the best answer to the question being posed. Now these questions can be tricky because they require you to weigh up the options presented to you and for you to choose the best answer to the question being posed. To show this in more detail, let's take a look at an example single best answer question. So every single best answer question is made up of three parts. Firstly, there's the stem. The stem usually presents a clinical scenario, which gives some context before you are asked a question. So here, the stem is giving us a scenario of a 63-year-old man who has had two hours of severe, tearing chest pain that radiates through to his back. We are then given further information about his past medical history. We discover he has hypertension, type 2 diabetes, and has a 60-pack year smoking history. Finally, we are given some clinical examination findings, including a pulse rate and two blood pressure readings. After the stem, we are presented with a question which we need to answer. In this situation, we're being asked which is the most appropriate investigation to establish a diagnosis. Now, these questions can vary. For example, you could be asked about management, or you could be asked about initial investigations, or you could be asked about prognosis or complications, there can be a wide variety of questions which can appear. Finally, we are presented with the options. Now one of these options is the best answer to the question we have been posed, hence the name single best answer question. Four of the options will be incorrect. These are called distractors, and they get this name because they're trying to distract you from the best answer. So in this example, we're worried that this man may have had an aortic dissection. And we've come to this conclusion based on his history, his risk factors, and his examination findings. And we're being asked which is the most appropriate investigation to establish a diagnosis. So the correct answer to this question is option B, CT angiography, because this is going to help us establish a diagnosis of aortic dissection. Now you can see here how the incorrect options are trying to distract you from the best answer. For example, option C, chest x-ray. A chest x-ray seems to be a reasonable investigation for a man with chest pain. Option D, an ECG, is also a very reasonable investigation for a man with chest pain. However, if we read the question again, we're being asked which is the most appropriate investigation to establish a diagnosis. Neither chest x-ray or ECG is diagnostic for aortic dissection. Therefore, the best answer to this question is option B. Now, this is actually a tricky single best answer question because this requires you to firstly recognise that the suspected diagnosis is aortic dissection and then it's testing whether you know which is the best investigation to diagnose aortic dissection. So hopefully you found it useful to go over the structure of a single best answer question. And hopefully you can see now how these questions are testing your ability to apply medical knowledge. We have over 5,000 free MCQs available on the Geeky Medics quiz platform, and we have over 2,000 advanced single best answer questions available in our question packs. Our OSCE station collection contains over 900 ready-made OSCE stations, covering most conditions in the UK MLA content map. The Geeky Medics clinical examination guide summarises all of the key examinations you could be asked to perform in a practical examination and how to interpret clinical signs.